二零二二年第廿三条系有关于关节嘅，以下边一个结构系关节嘅组成部分呢？分别系骨头啦、肌腱啦，同埋韧带嘅。咁呢条题目啦，就考翻我哋关节嘅组织成分啦，同埋骨骼肌嘅组成部分啦。咁我哋先睇翻啦，组一二三四，咁咁啊非常直接了当啦。一个可移动嘅关节咧，我哋见到有骨头啦，第一个正确啦。去到韌帶啦，又見得到啦，咁所以咧答案咧已經出現咗就係一三咯，答案就係 B 啦。咁但係啦，肌腱有咩家伙咧？肌腱咧其實就係喺我哋嘅骨骼肌嗰處出現嘅。當中我哋學過嘅骨骼肌點樣去連接到骨頭咧，就係、是、透過堅韌而冇彈性嘅肌腱啦。咁所以咧，原來啦，肌腱咧係喺骨骼肌嗰度去出現，就唔係喺個關節嗰度出現。當中咧都有多一個嘅概念咧，又提一提大家啦。肌腱咧就係將肌肉連接去到骨頭嘅，咁韌帶咧就係將骨頭。同另一個骨頭去做連結啦，咁呢個就係關節嘅概念啊嘛，係咪？咁啊，仲有啲咩題型變奏啊？今次咧，其實仲有好多結構咧冇提到噶。咁當中咧，其實仲有好多結構咧冇講到噶。我哋有一個狼啦，去包住個關節啦。我哋有滑翼膜啦，同埋滑翼啦，甚至乎下次問下你軟骨對於一個關節喐動嘅時候有啲咩嘅重要性咧，都可以問你嘅喎。Two two two question twenty three is about the joint. Which of the following structures are the component of a joint? So this question it tells us the component of the joint and also the component of the skeletal muscles. So let's take a look at the structure of a movable joint. We can see the bones, we can see the ligament, and then we get the answer one and three. So the answer is B. So what about tendon? Tendon it tells us the concept about the Skeletal muscle. So the skeletal muscle are attached to the bones by the tough and inelastic tendon. Therefore, I also want to remind you that for the ligament, is the structure to join the bones together. Is the exam said, and it is a elastic structure. And any question variation, you can see that there are the fibrous capsule enclosing the joint, synovial membrane, and the synovial fluid. So they are also a part of the joint. And also, it can ask you the function of the cartilage when the joint is moving, any importance or the significance of the cartilage.